Well, good morning, you guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 7. It is like 9.30 in the morning and I just woke up, which is like very like unlike me, but y'all, I was really, really tired. Um, I, well, first of all, y'all know I had a really stressful day at work yesterday and I got my behind handed to me for 12 hours and then I went home and edited the vlog. Well, I got home late cause I like left work late, like I told you guys. And then I like, my whole schedule was behind yesterday and I didn't wind up falling asleep until like midnight. So I set an alarm for seven thinking like, oh, seven hours of sleep will be plenty. Wrong. I woke up at seven and I was like, I feel like I got hit by a bus and I don't really have any like plans today. I'm going to go to a Pilates class at noon and it's only like 930. So like I have plenty of time and the only thing I wanted to do before that was like clean the house. So uh, I have plenty of time to do that. So I let myself sleep in and that's okay. Oh, and tonight we are doing like a birthday dinner for me, like my family and I are doing a birthday dinner, so that'll be fun. So that's tonight at six, and then um, probably just gonna come home and chill after. Kyle has to be at work super early in the morning tomorrow, so it won't be a late night. <laughs> so I'm like kind of looking forward to that because your girl needs a good night's sleep again, because I still, even though I slept for like nine and a half hours, is that crazy or what? I still feel like I'm a little tired, <laughs> so. Let's make some coffee. And also Bella is trying to corral me to feed her. I told you guys, she just is like, she she can't, she like thinks that she's the boss and we're really trying to encourage the fact that we are the boss. She'll figure it out. There's just nothing like the first sip of coffee in the morning. It's just the best. Um, I like always try to, unless I'm like, I need to like rush out of the house on my days off. I like always try to like at least like just sit on my couch for an hour and like just watch something and drink my coffee and just like have some like chill me time. So, cause Kyle's not awake yet. So we, um, I'm like, much more of a morning person than my husband is <laughs> so um i'm gonna watch the high school musical like new show on disney plus don't judge me okay i grew up like on high school musical like that was like my jam it was like my my life okay big fan was obsessed and now the show is really fun to watch so um i'm gonna watch that drink some coffee and we're just gonna chill for a little while I like did something to hurt my neck yesterday at work and it sucks, it like hurts really bad. So if you don't have one of these, well, first of all, this thing is like the greatest ever. It's, this is like the cheap version of the Theragun that is like really, really, really expensive and there was no way in hell I was gonna pay that much money for it, but, um, I got like a, there's a massage therapist that works like where my, like in the same place as my acupuncturist. And she was like, oh, you should go like try it. And it was like, like a sports massage. I think that's technically what it's, what it was. But it like, he like, it was like the deepest deep tissue massage you could ever experience with like stretching that was so painful. But it was really helpful, but it was like not a comfortable experience. But the one thing he used was like one of these, like he used like the Theragun on like all of like my muscles, to like loosen it up and it was life changing. So then I looked at the price of the Theragun and I was like, woo, no, no, I'm not paying that much. <laughs> so uh, I found this one on Amazon. It's the G3 Pro. I don't even know up from Opove, O-P-O-V-E. And it's like a fourth of the price of the Theragun and it works just as good. It had like a gajillion like great reviews on on Amazon and it's the best ever. You just like, it has like different like attachments and it just like massages and it really like gets in there and it's the best ever. So 
If you've ever thought about buying a Theragun, because I know they're like super popular, like I go to 24 Hour Fitness, like when I'm not going to like Pilates, I go to 24 Hour Fitness and they like sell them there and I know that they're like really becoming popular in like the fitness world, but if you aren't trying to pay like $500 for one of them, get you the cheaper one on Amazon that's like just as good, so. Pro tip. Bella just like sits here every morning and like looks out the window in our backyard and like, I don't know if she like is protecting our house or what, but I just think it's so cute. <laughs> she like always likes to sit here and like look out the window. Well, I watched the, I watched two episodes of the High School Musical show and now it's like 11, 10 and I was gonna like clean the house a little bit and uh, I gotta just like get dressed and go to Pilates, so. And that's at noon, so I have like 45 minutes before I le need to leave the house, and uh, I think we can make this happen. I think we can do some cleaning, and we can be on time to Pilates. Hopefully, if not, we'll clean when we get home too. That that would be fine. Let's clean. <laughs> I'm making my pre-workout and I thought I would share a tip with you all because just because I thought it's I thought it was a good discovery so I thought I would share with you guys that so I use like we use a variety of pre-workouts but like this is the one we have right now it's like not my favorite honestly I'm still in search of my favorite one but pro tip I've been trying to incorporate more collagen in my life because my acupuncturist was like oh it'll be really good for your joints because I have really bad lower back problems from like 20 years of dancing growing up so my back struggles and I've had knee surgery and like so all of those things like have kind of made my joints really sad and collagen is really good for your joints it's good for your hair so I found this at Trader Joe's um, and it's dairy free and it's just like a really good collagen supplement so I put this in my pre-workout so for those of you that struggle to like put your collagen like if I'm not like a big like smoothie work like post-workout like smoothie person so or even like protein shake because I so like some people put it in their protein shakes. That's like not for me. But if I put it in my pre-workout, it tastes I can't even taste it. So would recommend. Try it out. Alright, we are in the car, we are dressed. We let's go get this workout done. And then after the workout, we're gonna go to Target and return some stuff that I bought online and didn't like. So let's work out. Y'all. I'm disgusting. This black shirt, thank God, because like you probably, I mean, you can't see the amount of sweat that's on me right now, but it's a lot of sweat. So I just got out of Pilates and I, it was really hard. It was challenge week and uh, challenge week is the first week of every month. And I forgot it was challenge week. That always happens to me where it just like creeps up on me and I'm like, dang it. I forgot it was challenge week and now I'm here and now I can't back out. And challenge week is like a hundred times harder than it already is to work out in 95 degree heat, basically doing hit cardio the whole time. So uh, today, usually like the format is like 20 seconds of work and then 10 seconds of rest. And today she was like, we're gonna do 20 seconds of work and five seconds of rest. And you're like moving in between like mountain climbers and like, you know, lunges and planks and like all of that stuff. So my heart rate was like 180, I think the entire class, but that's why we go, you know, we go to be committed and burn all the calories. And I burn all the calories I did. My watch says I burned like 865 calories. That's insane. That's, I don't even know if that's accurate, but it really like feels good to see that number. So I'm gonna say that that's what it is. So now I'm gonna, go to Target and return some stuff and then we're gonna go home and I need to start packing to go visit my friend in San Diego on Sunday so I need to uh, need to get to packing because I've packed zero so <laughs> but that's very like me so let's go to Target before I like really up my car like I've like I don't even know if you can see that I've literally fogged up my car because I'm so steamy wow that's how you know you got a good workout <laughs> all right well, let's go to Target I was trying to find a makeup bag, but they don't have any, so, well, they have them, but they're the super expensive, expensive like, Sonia Kashuk ones, so, hard no, so, we'll, we'll figure something else out. 
well, I feel much better. I was disgusting, <laughs> so gross. I like don't normally like run errands after I work out, but like it just, the timing worked out that way. So um, I was like really disgusting, that's gross. Um, so now I feel much better, we're all showered. And um, I need to dry my hair, do my makeup, and get dressed and get ready to go to dinner at six. It's like five, so I have like 45 minutes before we need to leave the house, so I need to get going. So I guess we'll start with drying my hair because it's very wet. Well, you can probably barely see me, but we are driving to my birthday dinner. I don't think anybody can see me. Oh, thanks, honey, with the assist. Wow. She's dead. Anyways, we're headed to my birthday dinner. It is 5.52, and I think we'll, like, maybe just barely make it on time. And um, I'm excited to go eat some food. Um, it's just going to be, like, my mom, my brother, my stepdad, my friend Steph. Hey, Steph. And my husband. So it'll be fun. And I'm excited because the place we're going to has really good food. And I'm excited. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> well, birthday dinner was very exciting. Uh, the food was delicious. Now we're doing adult things and uh, filling up our water jugs because our water jugs are empty. And we have one of those like water dispensers that has like where you like put the jug in it and then um, it just like filters the water out and makes it cold and delicious and it's the best. So we are filling up our water jugs because we they're both empty and I need to get food to make an appetizer for my holiday party tomorrow night. <laughs> Kyle's struggling. Look at him though figuring it out. Usually I do this but look at him go. Um, and then I need to go home and go to bed early because I booked a 6.45 a.m. workout class because, again, I'm crazy, you guys. I'm going to go do hot Pilates at 6.45 in the morning on a Saturday. That's who I am. Um, so, and Kyle works tomorrow. Are you sad? It's only one day. Yeah. It's only one day. You look cute today. Thank you. <laughs> We're at Lucky's and I'm in search of meatballs. Success, we found the meatballs and something to put it in. <laughs> Kyle thinks it's something he should smack on his head. But <laughs> that was so rude. <laughs> we got on camera, that was messed up, we got <laughs> Oh, that does kind of sound like Somebody trash? No, 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 you're not going to the trash. That doesn't sound like Woody. Who made this? It's garbage. That's not that's not okay. We should get Forky instead. I have to bring a toy for tot. Toys for tots? Toy for tot. Whatever. All right, Forky is... Forky's the best. He, I know he's 20 bucks. He's going to make some kids so happy, but Forky be for, could be for a girl or a boy. Right? All right, there you go. Take him. <laughs> he doesn't say trash, so I'm highly disappointed. <laughs> well, y'all, we are home from shopping and from my birthday dinner, and it was really great. Um, I... We had a great time with uh, my my mom, my stepdad, my brother, and my husband, and one of my best friends came, and that was really fun. So um, I got meatballs, like crockpot meatballs, to make for tomorrow. For I'm invited to this like bougie McBougie. My friend Steph, hey Steph, I always say that, <laughs> um, invited me to her grandparents like bougie McBougie wine party, and I'm very excited. Um, cause they like, it's supposedly really great. So I'm excited to go and we've talked about it before. And this is the first year, like she was invited and she's bringing me as her plus one and I couldn't be more excited. So I have like a really nice bottle of wine to bring. I got a toy cause we're doing toys for tots. And then I got, um, oh, I got meat, uh, meatballs. They're literally just frozen meatballs. You put them in the crock pot with grape jelly and barbecue sauce for four hours and they turn out 
freaking delicious and people love them. So I'm gonna bring that as my appetizer. And those are the three things I was supposed to bring to said bougie McBougie wine party. So I'm excited to go. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's about it. I have to edit this vlog and then I need to go to bed because like I said, I booked a 6.45 a.m. workout class because I'm stupid. I kid, it's very healthy. It's so healthy for me to do that. I just like, it's so early. Like the night before, I'm always like, God, that's so early. And then once I get out of bed, like once I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm like mad about it. But then once I'm like, I, I like out of bed and like headed to work out. I'm like, this was a good choice. This was a good choice. Good job, Nicole. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog for tonight. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Have a great day. Bye.